Greetings from the Black Country, guys. I am back again with more posts. Someone really needs to take my card off me because I have bought some cracking things this week. Like the one thing I am really excited about, so I think I might save that until last. So first up, we have the first of the Royal Tudor Beasts and we have the Seymour Panther. I did manage to get my hands on the Queen's Beasts when they first came out because I missed the first, what, four or five? And they're going like ridiculously crazy prices now. So, so I managed to get these and I got on the, um, where you can, it literally just takes the money out of your account when the next one comes and sends you the coin, which is a lot easier for me. Because I don't have to think, oh no, I've got to get on, on the Mint website for 9 o'clock. Oh no, I've lost the coin. Just get sent to me. Jobs are good and Tells you a bit about the coin. It's a very, very nice coin. I like this set. Oh, and there we go. I've knocked you over. In the first minute, I've knocked you over. <laughs> Zoom back over. So I've had a couple of nice stamps. So we've got this one with a very nice jigsaw puzzle. And this one. Now, when I first saw this stamp, I thought it was mac and cheese. But it's not mac and cheese. I don't like mac and cheese, so it's a good job. Scanning electron micro microscopy. Definitely not mac and cheese. We have, oh, has anyone seen Laughter's latest coin store haul? He's such a bad influence on me. Every time he posts one of these, I end up spending some money. I went looking for one thing, one specific thing, and I ended up spending a little bit more than I wanted to. But I did get some beautiful Isle of Man coins. This is one of them. Isle of Man, 1997. It's a one crown. And it's the birth of Christ. Now, isn't that just stunning? It's an absolutely stunning coin. So nice. So that was one of the things that I bought. I got this one. Again, another Isle of Man. And it's the life and the times of the Queen Mother. And I didn't realise until I went on New Mister to put this on New Mister that there's actually a set. I think there's another three coins in this set. So I will be looking to get those. Because you can't just have one. But that again is a very nice coin. I have another stamp. Alfred Hitchcock. No, it's not. Isn't that the um the butler from Batman? It is, isn't it? Is he? He's called Alfred, isn't he? Oh. Let me know guys. Let me know down the bottom. Am I just am I just having like a bit of a brain fog? That is the butler from Batman, isn't it? It's not Alfred Hitchcock. Where is it? Alfred, who are you? It's a nice stamp anyway. Let's have one to last. Oh, I got another one of these um, beautiful coins. So I'll show you the back first. a five pound coin and it's the golden wedding anniversary of the queen and prince philip and oh look at queenie there that is that's a lovely lovely portrait of queenie it's, packaging is stunning you've got the stamp up there
just beautiful. It's a very, very nice coin. I think this is one of the ones that Laughter actually had from the coin store. I mean, I saw, I saw it on a uh, eBay with the uh, first day cover, and you know, I love the first day cover. It's a stamp and a coin combined, and it makes my life so very happy and my heart full of joy. Now, to go with this next one, we have the standard Winnie the Pooh case. Now, the Raw Mint took the money out for my Tudor Beasts. I mean, they took the money out for this next coin. When I had another email saying, your Raw Mint parcel is on its way. And I thought, well, I've just received the two things I've ordered. Don't know what this is. What, have I been buying stuff in my sleep again? It was this. We're all good. It was just this. So we have this one. L from the... Winnie the Pooh collection and I like this one so much better than the first coin of his second set. He looks so fluffy. I like it. It's such a nice coin. Love it. Still no eel though. Can't wait to get eel. Now, this next one links in with my last one, sort of, in a fashion. But we have ourselves a scout there. And it is the 2019 re release of the scout 50 pence. Now, you know me, Scout Leader Chrissy over here, I have to get anything I can see with Scouts on. If I find it and I find it and I like it, I have to buy it. So, one of the next things that's, that's coming in the post, which I brought, I can't wait to show you guys because oh, it is literally me in a nutshell. But... 2019 next thing i'm so excited to show you so if i zoom out comes in this a very nice red presentation case then we open it up and we have the coins Have a little oobly doobly there. These oh, they're so good. They are the Duke of Edinburgh Award one crowns from the Isle of Man. So we have this one. My friend Rohan, he's just done his gold. No, he hasn't. He's done his diamond. I think he's just done his diamond. Diamond Duke of Edinburgh Award. Oh, he's just got awards coming out of his ears at the moment, but I'm so proud of him. But so, he's just had to do... Yeah, it is his diamond. I think it's his diamond. He's just had to do a presentation to us. And like a few other people. On, um... I can't get the coin out. And what he had to do to get his award. And I can't wait to see him get this award. I keep telling him that if he gets to go to Buckingham Palace, he needs to take me. Forget his parents. He needs to take me because I need to know what the Queen's favourite biscuits are. I mean, I could go to ask, but you know, I'd love to meet the Queen. I bet you get a really nice biscuit with your cup of tea. With this one. 
So we got some abseiling. And some sailing going on down the bottom. And we got some mountain biking there. Well, like when we went on camp, um, Rohan and I can't get this last coin out. I'll tell you the story. Rohan and Will were doing kayaking because Rohan's a, like he's qualified to teach kayaking, and <laughs> I was playing a game where like they had to stand up in the boat and you had to like well you boated your kayak and you have to rock the other person. So like one of the kids was rocking Will's kayak. Now Will, now bear in mind I'm only five foot. Will is like six foot three something like that so you can imagine <laughs> he went into the water just like very gracefully like a gazelle <laughs> falling back off his can off his canoe <laughs> yeah. oh it was such good fun oh i laugh i laughed so much at them doing that then we have the last coin so we've got some swimming mountaineering and I don't know what this is. I think I think this is like one of the camping aspects, maybe of it. But we have someone sitting in a bed. Oh, uh, I really wish I could do camp all over again. Well, I can next year, but my first camp this year, and it was so much fun. I enjoyed it so much. Like I absolutely love volunteering. It's it's one of the one of the best things I ever decided to do was volunteer. Because the, the the kids just bring me so much joy. Like just it's just great fun. And, and like some of the skills that I've learned as well over the past nearly four years. Like it, it's helped my confidence so much. And, yeah, of course, we have Baden the bear now. And he's just the heart and soul of our scout troop. Oh, one, yeah, one day I will show you Baden the bear. But that is it for this week's post video. I've, I've rambled on enough now, guys, about how much I love scouting. But, yeah, I do love scouting generally from the bottom of my heart. And my favourite thing that I've had this week has got to be the Duke of Edinburgh coin set. Let me know what your favourite was, guys. And I'll see you again, guys, for more posts, more world coins, more pressed pennies, more coins in my change, more coins in general, and more stories from Scouts. See you later, guys. Bye.